I offer this Mass for all your intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. God has loved us first in Christ Jesus. And if we are to profess Christ, we are to love one another. But we fail at times, and God looks beyond our faults and knows what we need to allow our God to change and transform us. As we begin this Eucharist, let us give him access to our hearts. Let us give him access to our sins, that he who conquered sin once and for all may conquer the sins in our hearts. Let us now examine our conscience and prepare ourselves. And with sorrow and contrition, we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son has appeared in our very flesh, grant, we pray, that we may be inwardly transformed through Him whom we recognize as outwardly like ourselves, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God. And whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. In this, the love of God was made manifest among us, that God sent His only Son into the world, so that we might live through Him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that He loved us, and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The response. All nations on earth shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. Kindly repeat. All nations on, on earth, earth shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. O God, give your judgment to the king. To a king's son, your justice that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. Response, all nations on earth shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. May the mountains bring forth peace for the people and the hills justice. May he defend the poor of the people and save the children of the needy. Response, all nations on earth shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. In his days shall justice flourish and great peace till the moon is no more. He shall rule from sea to sea, from the river to the bounds of the earth. Response All nations on earth shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. Kindly rise for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. 
to proclaim liberty to the captives. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time when Jesus went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. And when it grew late, his disciples came to him and said, This is a desolate place, and the hour is now late. Send them away to go into the surrounding countryside and villages and buy themselves something to eat. But he answered them, you give them something to eat. They said to him, Shall we go and buy two hundred denarii worth of bread and give it to them to eat? And he said to them, How many loaves do you have? Go and see. And when they had found out, they said, Five and two fish. Then he commanded them all to sit down in groups on the green grass. So they sat down in groups by hundreds and by fifties. Then taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and said a blessing and broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples to set before the people. And he divided the two fish among them all. And they all ate and were satisfied. And they took up twelve baskets full of broken pieces and of fish. And those who ate the loaves were five thousand men. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A certain traveller fell into a deep pit. Many persons passed by and saw him struggling. A sensitive person saw him and said, I can feel your pain down there. A curious person passed by and said, How in the world did you get there? A judgmental person passed by and said, Surely you must have done something wrong to be there. A creative person passed by and said, Well, I can help you to make life interesting there. An optimist passed by and said, uh, Cheer up, things could have been worse. An introvert passed by and just passed by. My dear brothers and sisters, a compassionate person passed by and he bent down, held his hand and lifted him up from his misery. Compassion is the ability to see suffering in the eyes of another. Jesus had compassion on the crowd and he invited his disciples to share in that compassion. You give them something to eat, he said. And he invites us all to share in his compassion, to radiate that love and compassion to others. You give them something to eat. You take responsibility. You be the change. You spend time with the lonely, the unloved. You be the first to forgive. You write that letter of apology or you make that phone call. You take that class. You clear up the mess. If you have seen that something needs change and you are convinced, then probably God wants you to make that change. The kingdom of God belongs to the compassionate. Let us be compassionate today, now. Generosity always pays. The loaves which were shared became the start for Jesus to work the miracle. We too can share loaves and God can use them, bless them and multiply them. We can share loaves by spending time with those who need comfort, those who are lonely. We can share loaves by getting in touch with our relatives, inquiring about them. We can share loaves by being loving and forgiving to all those who live under our roof, our family. We can share loaves by helping children to feel loved, to feel cared, to feel safe. 
we can share loaves by helping children and youth to see blessings and miracles in their life. We can share loaves by healing ourselves of past hurts, by helping others to heal. By sharing our loaves, we put ourselves in a situation where God can be glorified in and through us. We become a blessing for others in the hands of God. They all ate and were satisfied. God can do so much with so little. He can do so much with you. He can do so much with me. He does so much through this Eucharist. Thousands are fed and nourished. Take this and eat. This is my body which will be given up for you. This is what God desires to do with us too. To take us, to break us and to distribute us for others. He does with us what he did with those meager scraps of food. The key is to stay connected to God. And in our prayer, the constant desire to serve him and to serve our neighbor to the fullest. May God bless us all. Are you Lord God of all creation? For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of our human hands, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to come before your holy presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Oswald Gracious, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your holy face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with all the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen peace of the lord jesus be with you always and, and with your spirit let us offer each other a sign of god's love peace be with you Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the words and my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment Thine. Lord Jesus, thank You for the blessings and graces You have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. O God, who touch us, through our partaking of your sacrament. Work, we pray, the effects of its power in our hearts, that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to truly love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. Prayer for Relief from the Coronavirus Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic and be available to all. We pray for doctors, nurses, and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Yes.
Thank you.